Welcome back, everyone, to Vanilla Hoy Forum, which we're playing as not Chile and Argentina, but the Chilean Socialist Republic. I'm your host, Mr. Mokola, and we're led by Elias Cavino. No, but we got Brazilian good neighbor policy. Which way is Brazil gone now? Not in the line, huh? Hmm. The Brazilian president, Guterro Vargas, this guy, has announced that their government intends to seek greater cooperation with the nations of South America. And what's being dubbed as the good neighbor policy. What form this cooperation will, will take remains to be seen. But this marks a, de, a, de, a de, marked deviation from the previous antagonistic relations between the Spanish and Portuguese speaking nations of the continent. Well, turn events. But as you can see, we consolidated the, our fronts here, but they're still very quite strong. Um, not sure why not. Uh, here in South America. Um, so we're struggling. We're definitely struggling a little bit here. Can you actually win your. They were attacking that direction, so you might be able to do well there. Really, we're trying to consolidate our rule and hold and whatnot of everything around here. Uh, we have no fuel, we have no war support, we got no manpower, we have no stability. Pretty normal for South America. Uh, if we can move here, that'd be great too. Shang-Chi joins that government. All right, whatever. Um, the northern part is a little bit more difficult to take out than the upper parts. But what do you expect? You know, helps consolidate the fronts. Helps keep us a little closer together. Uh, we're gonna start attacking here next as well. And get closer and quite closer to Buenos Aires. And Poland has refused a German ultimatum. And now they're at war with the Allies. Go figure. And we're trying to get an air force started eventually. Japanese shogunate, not bad. Um, sure, we'll take some stuff here. Why not? Um, in the meantime, you guys do this. You have enough support around here. They're opening stuff up, which is not great, but we're able to hold the line for the most part. Like I said, we still got to mobilize a little bit more, even though we are mobilizing more. Uh, Livonia joined the Allies. Strikes crud. If you wonder about strikes, please go right ahead. Uh, make propaganda heroes out of these guys. Why not? And convoys? Hey, we sunk two more convoys. Not bad. So, what else? Here, perhaps? Yes. Looks like a probably a pretty good option. Uh, losses? They've up not only 19 divisions. They've lost 72,000. We've lost 55,000. Yellow River has been blown. Not ideal, but whatever. Could you do this? Could you take out Buenos Aires? Which I'm probably saying wrong. Probably not. Not ideal. Uh, can you do this? That would be ideal. There's only two divisions. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, they are pushing up north, which is not good. We just didn't encourage bond purchases. Uh, and we're going to do work on the Pan American Highway, which would be pretty nice overall. Fall of Warsaw. Um, we need more divisions around here. We need to definitely get into here or here or here. Three divisions is not ideal, but if you let them spread out, that's not bad. Especially since we need to strike here. Could you do this? Brute artillery is nice. 1939, of course. Um, better engineers, perhaps? Maybe? Good artillery. Then they reject Soviet demands. Engineers, yes, please. And which one? This one we're eventually trying to convert to Mountaineers, which I did want to save some army XP for this one, so that way we could make it cheaper for us. That'd be nice. Are we able to take this child? There are two divisions there, and it's pretty, probably pretty darn swampy. Not ideal. They're attacking us, which is fine. Um, support resistance. Address the strikes. So if you want, you need to declare war on them. Um, Anti-colonialism. Or else we don't have enough guns for that. There you go. End of the League of Nations. Sure, Soviet Union. Come on in. Oh. Very much not ideal here. How can you not win here? Hello? Okay, you are honestly very pathetic. You guys gotta rescue this division, so. We do that as much. You're gonna force defense. Or, or not. Okay. And. We already did this once. Hello? Yeah, RGT is still extremely strong. Please don't lose that division. Please. For the love of God, do not lose that division. Yeah, they're still extremely strong. You know what? We're going to lose it, so let's do this. So we've lost quite a few. They've lost quite a few. Uh, Ariel Stazo. Earlier today, a brief revolt of the Takna. Artillery Regiment, led by General Arrestozo Herrera, took place. Herrera uh, is known to be a supporter of former President Carlos Ibanez del Campo and seems to have been ha ha heavily influenced by his time as a military attaché to Italy on May 21, 1939. 
As General Herrera is arriving to the presidential palace for a ceremony, he saw a red flag hanging from one of the balconies and in a sudden impulse grabbed it and tore it down, and it was the first time any real suspicion was raised against him. Despite all this, however, he has no large scale support and everything is fine again. At least, order has been restored. White Death. Okay, we got the White Death. Event. Why are we losing here? How are we losing here? Our divisions aren't that bad, are they? We're out of manpower. So how are we out of this many guns? This makes no sense. So we're doing the best we can here. Argentina is actually just very strong. Um, engines 2. Uh, anything else here? 1939. Cannons. Grab as much stuff as we possibly can. That'd be nice. Uh, we're not. Oh! Americans are here to help us out too. Look at that. Can we do this? We should be able to do this. That gives a good defense position against this tile up here, right? Yeah, Americans help us out. You're fighting for freedom, that's right. Good. I just got something there out of that. And the Navy's looking okay. Three divisions there. Americans over there too. Uh, work on Pan American Highway. Going to propaganda would be nice for more war support. Um, we read that one last time. Here's on production front. If you'd like to read, it, read about this one, please go ahead. Boop. And construction of air bases, fortification efforts. Specialized art and armor. Heavy guns. Well, air defense. I guess put the nitrate production to use. Our economy is as strong as a major power such as Britain, France, and Italy. As such, we need to specialize in heavy guns production if we want stronger and better equipment. Even though we wish that we had the money to pay for all of our desired equipment, of course. But we don't. And yeah, we don't have enough command power because we don't have enough war support because we don't have enough of anything here. Which really sucks. Yeah, that's the case. You know what? Throw on thing of artillery. Dispersed. Construction speed. Mountaineers. Convert him to this. Just... There you go. Wow, that actually pushes out. Look at that. Man, this really sucks fighting this war. Four divisions. We can't take on four divisions like that. Uh, Greece submits. Maybe they attack again. I mean, if we have enough support from America to help do this, we don't. Yeah. Buenos Aires is the only place we can really attack successfully. So we must wait. Colonial states. None of resistance. Good. Uh, horses. They do have support artillery, which is nice. And you guys have this, which is not bad. Could use some rangers. Guards are not bad. We need to remove that and put military police instead on there. It's almost 1940. Hmm. We're interested in Scandinavia. Really beef up our artillery, perhaps. Andres is gone. Field hospitals we have to have. Nice. Strength of the common soldier is good. Colonial states. Can't go to war economy. Sense of conscription is good. Now we're out of artillery as well. But they give us more punch. Which is exactly what we need. You guys, you need our engineers too. We're doing Ecuador. How'd they finish? Hello. Uh, 150 days. We should be able to be done with this war by then, right? Right? Hope so. Anything else we got here? Transport snow. How strong are these guys? 525 divisions, tons of manpower. Or we have none. I don't think we can do anything here, can we? Argentina is just extremely strong for some reason. Infamous decade. Consumer goods. Or we're just extremely weak. I think we're just extremely weak. Yeah, we're just not strong at all. Hey, we get some weekly stability, which is pretty good. Relief efforts. No 
I'll put your conflict, it is what it is. Yeah. More artillery. I'm surprised they're not attacking us anymore. Panama. But that's pretty much where we're at right now. This kind of really freaking sucks. Uh, warfare in Patagonia. The best supplement to a mobile war is a unit of strong metal behemoths. With the fire power to overturn almost any foe they encounter. But the only question is, should our tank production be focused on the German blitz strategy, or should they work with support for the infantry? And then we're going to devalue the peso. While other countries uh, allow their currencies to become less valuable to help the economies, we have not done yet so. As a result, we are lagging far behind. If we want to catch up, we must not wait on devaluing our currency, even if it would prove to be an unpopular measure. And here we're at. We got to Buenos Aires. It took us a long time, but a lot of things have happened. We've actually joined the Allies, of all things, because Peru joined the Axis and they went to war with us. So we're in the Allies, France has fallen, and they're actually in their own Nordic Council thing. Um, so, yeah, this has turned into a gigantic mess. Uh, Mexico's joined the common turn. Um, we've been holding up here. I've been completely ignoring it as we've been taking out Buenos Aires. But we're doing okay. We're forcing the attack because I'm just sick and tired of this, so. Um, but we finally got down here. My god, that took forever. Um, oh, wait, now this war won't end without... Oh, god. This is why I don't like vanilla sometimes. I really do not like vanilla sometimes. It's just... it's. Not like the, the submods. And we lost most of our navy here. Good to know. Can you, like, disengage? Come on. Let's leave. Let's leave. And we lost most of our ships. Okay, good to know. Not good. Go. Prepare. Yeah. So, that was very costly. Basically, we need Germany to die, but I don't know if they will die. I'm going to devalue the pace of the next, though. Um, yeah. That's why I really don't... I'm not a huge fan of vanilla, overall. At this point, import films. Sure, we can use more war. Support the volunteer. In an effort to improve public opinion towards war effort, our propaganda ministers selected an exceptional cinematic production. The volunteer, a sublime viewing experience with a little strong patriotic sentiment, for screening across the country. We hope this heralds the beginning of a long and storied tradition for a patriotic film industry. The results have so far been excellent, which is great. Um, who's justifying against us? Paraguay is justifying against us. Wait, Paraguay. Well then. Uh, we need to deal with these guys, but honestly, as long as we got two divisions here, I'm not super concerned. Um, if anything, I'll actually give you another infantry division just in case. I'll take that horse back for now. There you go. So, swing during the out. Well, I guess we're fighting the economy turn two. Go figure. Uh, how long is it going to take for us to? Do that. Uh, let's say that's some time. We're building some more millies, which is nice, actually. Um, so eventually, we got to build all this stuff up, anyways. I don't mind building them up since it will lower their autonomy, anyways. Which is something that we definitely, definitely want. So I should probably in the future make uh, the rule say no one can join any factions of any kind. That'd be much more interesting if there's a rule like that. Resources to export focus. We need to drop down to limit exports at the very least. Um, can we go to war with these guys? Just five war goals, 100 days. Yeah, let's see, manage subjects. Because I would like to straight up annex them eventually. Tokoman. So, start building up our industry a little bit more first. And then build up their. Infrastructure, so we start slowly lessening their influence. Oh my god. This world's turned into a gigantic mess. Alright then. Uh huh. We all expand, connect the northern railways, I guess. The railways and the roads in the north, especially in Arica, are probably interconnected with the rest of our infrastructure systems. An effort must therefore be placed in improving the general infrastructure of the northernmost regions. Of course, we are worth Peru. Can we launch a thing in Peru? Maybe not. Maybe Bolivia? Bolivia wouldn't be bad. Or even these guys too here. Because we still get almost two political power a day. So, Bolivia or Paraguay? Paraguay. Yes. Connection through there is not terrible. It is 1940. Nuclear Chile would be good. Now we're going to be slowly lowering their autonomy, bit by bit. My guys are going to take forever to do, though. 
Sure, we'll take some support equipment. Yeah, why not? If we can afford it, why not at this point? We'll take whatever we can get, really. Because we lost all of our navy here too, which was really bad. Huh, at least a capital ship didn't die though. Sure. Expand southern infrastructure. There's currently little to no actual infrastructure in the far south reaches of Chile, and no rail lines at all. We must thus spend great amounts of effort to connect the southern port towns of Punta Arenas and Punta Delgado with the railway lines. Yeah, why not? Are they attacking us at all here? No? Hmm. What if I converted you to, to this type? type? And I'm going to throw in support arties, support field hospitals, and rangers, and engineers. This way you're at least halfway decent. And 12 combat width. You're looking weak, but you're actually relatively strong. Do we have any planes yet? No. Basic airframes. Yeah, I guess planes will be next. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where we've been at. I would like to take a Uruguay. I'd like to take a more, but it just... With everything going on here, it's probably not great. Paraguay? We can launch a civil war into them. Of course, they do have American volunteers help us out with that, too. Which wouldn't be bad. How much uh, time support is there? There's really not much. Um, that being said, you might get at least one tile to help them out. And go to war immediately, so let's see what happens. Japanese-Swedish war. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Don't lose, don't lose Africa. You've got a good chunk of Africa, don't lose it. And you got Turkey too and the Allies. That's of course you're also fighting up here as well. Oh boy. Uh, expand the forestry. The central regions of our country, especially Araucania, are rich in lumber. Though there are tons of those who oppose the expansion of the lumber of the industry in the region, as a must we wish for a country to ever experience economic security, and gaining lumber and clearing the lands is the quickest way there. Yeah, why not? Turkey, you're strong enough. You can almost lead the country like you could really if you really wanted to, with a smart AI. Lead the allies by themselves, but you know, whatever. Launch a revolution in Bolivia, pretty good. Uniform department. We can use more operatives too. All right, what else we got here? So let's see what happens with these guys. Hope we can do well. What else can we support resistance? Gunner in France. Yes, sure. Why not? They're very strong, my god. Infantry, 27 combat with I thought was would be decent, but maybe not. Maybe we need 40 combat with, maybe we need logistics. Okay, so there you go. You are our puppet. Yes. Oh, another cavalry division, nice. Immediately go in. Uh, call our ally in. Our other puppet here. Are you not coming in the war? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. What the heck? Join join the war. What's wrong with you? Quit Indian movement, request forces, expeditionary forces. Oops, you know what? I did say I want to do plain stuff next. We get Bessarabia, we're forming a department, which is good. Hey, we actually got in there, nice. Go in, down, and around. And then we'll do uh, maybe Bolivia next. We'll see. Uh, 1941, we need more output immediately, yes. Maybe a little bit more breakthrough. What the hell is going on here, man? So you're telling me you're not going to come into this war? Then you're a waste of time. Which means we need to annex these people pretty quickly. Um, if that's the case, we're going to continue building them up. We're going to build up some of our roads as well as their economy too. Build up two at the same time. Just so we can continue working down on their autonomy. 
That'd be nice. What a mess. Uh, with both of you on this side, though, you might be able to take this tile. Maybe. Okay, no. Fighting down here sucks. Our soldiers are really garbage. You can do anything here. No. Argentina, either join the war or you're going to get straight up annexed next. Okay, this is bugged or something. Can puppets really refuse to be called in? Um, government subsidizes contracts. In order to get more people to work and do their part, we should consider subsidizing industry contracts and part paying parts of the salaries ourselves. This way, more companies can feel comfortable in hiring more, more people can get money to spend and put back in the economy. It's not a bad idea. It really doesn't matter. What do you do next? What do you serve all these guys? Or from Patagonia, focus on domestic production. Or acquire foreign documents. Well, I probably would like to do focus on domestic production. Though it is undoubtedly more difficult and time consuming. It's a lot more beneficial to develop and produce tanks in our home country. To ensure the quality of our product, as well as not risking our weapons deliveries being stolen from before arriving. Foreign advisors. Train on Tierra del Fuego. Train in Atacama Desert. This is probably the better one. Our soldiers need to be properly trained if we wish for them to fight effectively in the heat of the tropics and deserts. The best way to fix this issue is to set up training camps in the Ataca Atacama Desert where they can be better acclimated to the heat. And around mountains. Chilean Socialist Republic has long had a long tradition of utilizing the mountainous terrain to its advantage when fighting, and the future will be no different. We are people used to living in the mountains who will use our expertise to defeat any juggernaut we come up against. We can't win here because our ally refused to come in the war. I hate this so much. It's what people don't like to it's an extreme amount. So it's going to take a long, long, long time for us to do anything here because Argentina wants to be... You know, Chilean Argentina wants to be dumb. Incredibly dumb. I don't think we're doing anything for uh, this front either, so... Yeah, actually, quite a few allies here. Hmm. How are the ships looking? Well, in all honesty, I'll, I'll split you off. Hello? Yeah, split them off. Wait, wait, where's this button? There's a sea wolf, torpedo cooling down. Just chuck as many as you possibly can at them. Nice, taxes are done and over with, that's good. Low risk. Get back home. At least that's good. So my two divisions. If we start attacking, will that do anything? No, we'll just start losing immediately. Yeah, Chile is not easy to play as. It's very, actually, very, 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 very difficult to play as. Um, breakthrough, soft attack, combat width. Not bad. You can throw more in there, but I'd rather have that. I'd rather us focus on our land option anyways right now, too. Uh, specialists. No, nothing really there that I would really want. Hmm. From Patagonia, foreign advisors, land of mountains. Slept proper air academy. It's not only the soldiers who will fight in the ground forces who need to be properly taught. Our pilots, though enthusiastic, lack the professional training they need to excel in dogfights. To solve this, we should expand the military academy and include more classes catering to the air force, construct new air bases. Besides any professional, well-educated, and motivated pilots, we also lack another critical function required for the larger air force, airfields. Though we have a few, though they are not enough. Therefore, if we wish to expand the air force to a level where it can become competitive. Fortification efforts. While well, the Air Force and Navy and are our primary means of preventing enemy forces from reaching our shores, we should still maintain a robust series of coastal fortifications as a final line of defense against any would-be invader. Reinforce the Esculia Naval. Our Esculia Naval has a long history of trained skilled naval officers, but continued investments is vital to ensuring your admirals and captains are prepared for modern naval warfare and construct naval bases, new ones. Our naval facilities are antiquated, are antiquated and in desperate need of modernization. By investing in such facilities, we will be able to construct and support much more capable naval assets. All right then. Well, our allies are pushing in, which is great. Um, however, the problem is, I don't think we can get very much here. So this is Peru. Um, where's Peru here? I don't think we have... Uh, oh, expand the forestry in Arcania. Where's the Mapuche conflict? Expand the forestry in Santiago. I like that one. 
uh, in Bolivia, promote ideology rallies in Bolivia, promote communism throughout Bolivia to save us the country should the Bolivian government oppose the rallies. Eh, piss them off, why not? Ooh. Improving the Fuerza Armadas. If we want our army to stand a chance against the juggernaut that is the U.S., we need to modernize it rapidly. Active for 35 days removed. Ooh, organization and defense. Armor attack and attack and division speed. We'll do both eventually. Um, I'll do that one too. Ecuador. Bolivia. Launch a revolution there. Colombia, Uruguay. Ah, Uruguay wouldn't be bad either. I guess they're, they're going in. I'm not sure where the guys went, but they're going in. Um, okay, sure, why not? Give him a crap ton of artillery. You know what? You're there anyways. Just help move in. I really have no idea where their divisions went. What the heck? Oh, now you're going to go in? You s Come on. That's stupid. No? Okay, you're going to lose tiles then. That's so stupid. New naval bases? Sure, why not? Help them out here. Can you guys win here? You're Mountaineers. You should be able to win. Uh, let's see. Give you some fighters. Because then again, I want to get these new planes that will be coming out very in a, literally a day. So that'll be good at least. We won't get the newest engines, but you know that's what we got. We got something here. Which is good. Uh, you need to keep an axe if you really want to. Hey, we actually sent some convoys. Look at that. This is going to teach you a lesson. You end the war when we tell you to. Okay, or don't. And lose completely. Yeah, our forces are garbage. What happened? What is a combat? What's those optimal combat? Every time there's a new update for Hoi 4, they always change combat or something. Our soldiers just really are just straight up garbage. There's only two divisions. You should be able to win. Force it if you have to. I really don't care if we die here. Lots of ribbon drop packed. But only two divisions there. Come on. Come on. If you die, there's okay. We got 10,000 left in there. 10,000 manpower in reserve. Disperse industry. Oh. And, okay. Oh my god, come on. Is that enough? This is disgusting. My god, Germany's huge. We are, they're, they're, oh. Turkey is slowly losing to those guys. Kind of insane. Cannot connect their forces here. Man, yeah, they're doing better on this part of Africa at least. Wow. Hello. What's going on up here? Can all three of you go here? Yeah. That's what I thought. Government cipher schools. Of Gibraltar? Oh, that's not good. Are they, did they lose? Okay, good. How can you not win here? Oh my god.
And we're pretty much out of map power again. Oh, great. We're doing okay around here, though. Looks like they came back with more divisions this time. You in here? The side that we're not completely not focusing on is doing way better. Yeah, they're not suffering from any supply issues or anything like that. Amazing. No capital, no supply. I don't understand it. I really don't. Maybe I'm not meant to understand it. Hmm. Yeah, we can do decently or here-ish. Need more guns. Sweden's gone. That's not good. Well, I guess we can go to service by requirement. Not even America can do anything. Very high military spending, huh? A little bit more organization for them, but that doesn't mean that much. No? Proper Air Academy. Joint Operational Command. Uh, now that we've developed not only our army, but also established good grounds for our Air Force, it's time to establish creating coordination and cooperation between these different army branches. As such, we'll found a Joint Operative Command, uh, consisting of commanders from, from both in the field. All I can think of right now, in all honesty, is just be beating these guys up more. We'll try 40 combo with. It's probably not going to be worth it, but we'll try it. Good, no longer developing the peso. And we'll come back over here. What can you also do here? Utilize FAME. Our arms industry is currently relying on international purchases and the local manually factured rifle. If we want to ramp up our military production, we must make sure that we have the state controlled arms manufacturer on our side. And such a centuries old Fabricas y Mastrozanas del Ejercito must be modernized rapidly. I'm sure I said it completely wrong, but still. Looking decent up here, really. Yeah. We'll see. Promote immigration. Chilean Social Republic is a diverse nation with peoples whose ancestry stretches across the globe. With the economy growing once more and an abundance of resources waiting to be tapped, it's time we encourage more people to move here and call themselves Chileans. High quality nitrate. While their instrument may not be currently the strongest, there's another thing that makes us stand out from the rest. That thing is our abundance of nitrate, and a large portion of the world's production lie within our borders. Thus, we can make sure that we get, we alone get access to the highest quality material while we have sell less refined nitrate. Who established a ministry of mining? We should also found a national mining industry that is responsible for the mining operations of our country, so we can essentially control where our mines are created and how they are run. And strengthen the central bank. In order for our economy to improve further than just the label of improvement, we should endeavor to strengthen the Banco Central de Chile, founded by the president Arturo Alessandri. We'll give them more liberties to do what they see fit and the endeavor they help us out in the long run. In, out, and around, huh? Alrighty. Spend the forest tree here. Oh, government's in exile, of course. Conversion. I do want to improve working conditions. Need more stability. Atomic stuff and two. One, go. Guns and manpower. Protect the Dutch of West Indies. That, uh, 
Please, yes. Turn operations command. Can you win here? No. You immediately start losing. Why the heck do they immediately start losing? Terrain? They're not Mountaineers, though. More soft attack, yes. Tons of divisions there. Did you not win? Oh! Well, there goes Mussolini then. Interesting. A little different. Alrighty then. Go with German convoys, go bye bye. Oh my god. Well, maybe join the Allies was a bad idea. Can I leave the faction? Jesus Christ. Well, I really gotta wait till these guys kill each other off, too. Wow. Wow. At least we got a port up there. Hey, we actually got these guys off. Look at that. Nice. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. You guys been here? Yeah, sure, maybe so. Sure. Can you close that out. Good. Help me get rid of those guys. Because our army just... It's, it's stuck here. There's nothing... Literally nothing we can do. Hey! We at least got those guys done. That's, that's good. Go in if you can. We're doing our effort. You know, we're doing the best we can here. It's unfair that they don't lose any supply here. That's really uh, actually just what the heck. That literally makes no sense. Are you moving in? Are you just sucking your thumb? What are you doing here? Let's get rid of those tanks, yeah. 4v1, see if we can actually do anything here. Probably not. The Italian tanks will get there too. Probably. And we'll grab this next. Nicaragua is gone. Good. High quality nitrate. Um. Desert. My god, our soldiers are incredibly weak. Maybe maybe some fair, spirit firepower is no longer superior. Maybe it's really just not worth doing anymore, you know? Maybe Grand Battle Plan's the way to go. I don't know. I really have no idea. So they're starving for supplies, but they're not here. I I am befuddled. It's muddy. River Navy, huh? Spanish Empire to put one them. We're doing allies. I don't care, you're gonna win. That's good. This makes no sense how they're putting, able to put up so much resistance against us, but whatever. Uh, what is next? Brazil would be good. That's good to get at least. And. Good. Because either you die or they die. Like there's, there's no in between, man. From immigration. Happy 1942, everybody. At least get rid of them out of here, please.
So we could try. The Americans might support us. I don't think we can really do anything here, though. And we start losing immediately. Just losing like crazy with air support. The cipher's broken. This is broken. This, this game's broken, man. It's completely broken. None of the Americans can fight through this. They're not losing supply. This is a, a, a bug in the game or something. And you can continually attack and attack and attack and attack, wasting manpower. And you, I guess you would slowly lose, they lose their strength, maybe, but their organization is just too high. It literally makes no sense as to how or why they're so strong. Um, so I'm going to stop attacking that. You guys are going to help defend here the entire time while th this army is going to go somewhere else. Screw it. You're done here. Uh, of course it doesn't help they have no manpower. And even then they don't they don't leave, like they don't attack us, they don't do anything. There you go. Are you gonna do something or what? Can you guys win down here maybe? Good. 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 Mercus and the Allies now, that's good at least. in there first. Promote immigration from Italy to Arankawa. No promote immigrants once from each country and only once from each state. Huh. I really don't care where we promote it from. Why does it cost 150 to do that? This is a talk on national security. The nub of the whole purpose of oh my god. Stop it. Do we have their ciphers done? No, we don't. Kind of a mistake, I'd say. Yeah, we're looking pretty good over here. Just Paraguay, that's impossible to take. Are we perfect up here? No. We're starting to falter here and here too, but still. That's why you generally don't like playing in South America. Doing okay. Sure. Hey, we got Ecuador. Look at that. Colombia's next, maybe? I guess I get, forgot about supporting you guys, too. Do that. It's your time is still pretty darn high, which is unfortunate, but I'm, uh, I think we a couple more focuses, and then we'll call it an episode. The next one will be definitely the last one. Um, domestic production of the Willies uh, MB. We're able to produce plenty of small arms and ammunition in our own home country, but we lack the expertise to produce proper motorized and armored vehicles. To alleviate this issue, we should purchase cars from anyone willing to sell them and copy their designs. Nationalization of copper. Uh, the vast swaths of copper in our nation are currently in control of the private mining corporations, which makes sure that the deposit falls into the more sensible hands of the government and the Ministry of Mining. It shall not pass. A country surrounded by not only our old enemies of the Pacific War, but also our large neighbor Argentina, with whom we share an enormous border. If we wish to withstand even remote chance in the defensive against them, we must hold them in the mountains. They shall not pass, and uh, we shall not never surrender. Advancements in telecommunications. 
Our scientists are working in R&D have begun developing better techniques to utilize not only radios, but also advance possible use cases for televisions, and through this we can get general knowledge out of the populations easier, as well as better communicate findings between faraway departments of the country's science labs. Uh, inwards development. To be our policy to keep out of world affairs and develop the country internally, without yet again trying to heavily uh, lean on exports. Work to counter uh, Operation Boulevard. Uh, Germany is attempting to influ influence the South American nations using espionage and sabotage in the vile Operation Boulevard. We should do all in our power to counteract their efforts. Align the Marxists? No, oh, well. Current ruling party is not communist, so we'll have to do that. Joint development programs. Now that we're allies, we should endeavor to mutually construct new factories in order to develop, better develop each of our nations. Joint research initiatives. Now that we're allies, we should endeavor to mutually establish laboratories and research cooperation programs in order to further the development of weapons beyond what the capitalists and imperialists of the world are capable of. Um, propose closer cooperation. Uh, the communist states in our surrounding areas may share our ideology, but they are started, scattered strategically. They have no coordination. Uh, we should bring them under our wings and help, help but guide them. Oh my god. Oh my. Can you stop this? Stop this. Stop. Shut up. Um, expand the naval arsenal. Our Arsenales de Marina are trustworthy ship manufacturers, and they also keep the fleet in good shape, as we have managed in the last years, which far exceeds the quality of the upkeep of any other South American countries managed. We should now increase their funding to prepare for war, fortify the coastlines, our coastlines are long, and in proportion to the size of the country, probably the longest in the world as such. Uh, were we to somehow lose the naval war, our entire country would be uh, would lie exposed, and we would be vulnerable to, and open to attack from the sea. Thus, we must construct large complexes capable of repelling any naval landings and invest in shipping. The military is not only uh, the thing that seems good for us, we are a country to a large part rely on trade and also that holds off shore regions, such as Europa Nui, which expand the merchant marine and invest funds in the expansion of the shipping industry. So, we're not doing great right now. We'll see if we can do anything better in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, the Soviets oh, and the Germans are at war. So, hopefully, they, one of them dies. Hopefully, the Soviet Union crushes the German Reich. That would be nice for us. But, uh, yeah, we'll all have to wait and see um, how things develop because now it's three way uh, World War II, which kind of is interesting to see. You know, we do have another landing here just in case, but. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we are going to continue struggling um, with uh, Chile. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.